I'm a projector according to human design, and this is my story. That's my rather dramatic introduction to my story as a projector in business and where it leads me today, which is to a place of exploring, transcending your human design. I'm going to get to that. This is just the first in a series of videos that I'm going to create for you to explore this topic. But first, let me share my story. It was about seven years ago that I first came across this thing we call human design. I put my birth date, time, and location into the little website and found out that I was a projector, this type call the projector, and that my strategy for being in the world is to wait for the invitation. I hated the idea of it, and it immediately resonated. For years, I'd been saying to people that I was like a vampire. You had to invite me in because I had this sense that I came on too strong that I was somehow intrusive, and I'd learned to, more or less, wait for permission before going in with what I had to share. So that's what I heard when I saw Projector waiting for the invitation. It took a little while because human design is so complex. There's so much to it. I thought it was far too confusing. So I really avoided it for a bit. And then I started working with a coach who had me look further into my human design, in particular into my channels and gates and centers. And I became a human design enthusiast. And I kind of was on fire with it for a while. I was looking up everybody, everybody's human design charts, everyone that I knew. And I began to see a lot of connections. And I had a lot of questions, too. I also met a lot of other projectors, a few of whom were studying to be human design analysts. And so I got a few readings myself, and there were insights to be found there. What happened over the years is that I engaged in a series of experiments for myself. This is something that I I actually really love about human design, is that it encourages you to experiment and test out what your type, what your design, what your strategy means for you, because only then can you live it. And so I started testing out, I started testing out my strategy of waiting for the invitation inside of my business. So I did a series of projector marketing experiments. And a lot of those experiments, by the way, I did the quote unquote wrong thing for my human design type just to see what would happen. And I started writing about what I was learning. Little did I know that there's not a lot of content out there for projectors who are doing business and particularly in marketing. And so I started getting traffic to my website from it. And over the years, I added to that information. I wrote about my experiences working with manifestors and reflectors in business and all of the projectors. I have usually over 50% of my community and audience inside of my business are projectors just because of those articles and how many people find me. I created a video. I ended up creating a small course on projector marketing. And that's part of the reason why I've held off on sharing this particular thing publicly for so long. And that is that I don't spend a lot of time with human design anymore, not for myself or not with my clients. And at one time I did. And here's the reason why. I've discovered something that's a simpler and easier way to navigate what it is to be you, 
the way you are designed as a human by looking to the nature of being human and how we create our reality. And then learning to really embody and experiment your way of living, your art of living through that understanding of what it is to be human. It's a hell of a lot simpler than human design and it's a lot easier to follow. But I will show you in these coming videos how it points to the things that I think are most valuable inside of your human design chart and the system that's used to explain it. Let me put out a disclaimer right here. If you're in love with human design, I'm not telling you to stop using it, to stop learning about it, or to stop sharing it. I'm not anti-human design. In fact, it opened up some really beautiful questions for me, and it still to this day brings me lovely people, many of them projectors in human design, who I really resonate with and who resonate with me and what I'm up to in business. So I'm not knocking human design. I'm just pointing to the simplest way of getting the benefits that I think most people are looking for in human design while avoiding the temptation to turn your chart into a set of rules that you have to try to squeeze yourself into and try to please. It, it becomes, and it's not just human design that this happens with. This happens with our astrological charts. It happens with, oh God, Myers-Briggs. We start to define ourselves by our type, by the label, but we are never a label. We could never be, you could never be defined by a chart of any type, no matter how accurate it might be. You are a living expression of the universe, creativity in form. And so while it can be very useful to see a reflection of yourself in some of these profiling systems, to define yourself that way is limiting, is constrictive. And so that's what, if anything, that's what I'm against. With that said, this is my introduction video, and I shall share more in the coming days about my story of being a projector in human design and how I've come to transcend the apparent limitations of my chart.